tip off goes to the Lakers. A look at the starting group for the Pelicans. Ingram and Zion, the former Dukies, in at forward. McCullum and Jones, the tandem in the backcourt. And it's Valanchunas in at the five. Raise the triple. A volume three-point shooter. The coaching staff encourages Russell to fire away. Pass to Jones. Ingram with the ball. Back to Jones. Uses the glass on the layup. Used the pick to perfection and got all the way to the rim. Russell against McCollum. Down low. James passes to Davis. Yep, that one goes. Defender plays tough, but Davis is tougher. Plays through the contact with just with ease, just with authority. LeBron is second all-time on the NBA career scoring list. It's just him and Kareem at the top. As long as he stays healthy, the King will set that record. Now here's Ingram. Five to shoot. Here's McCollum. And Davis with the block. Reddish against McCollum. Reddish misses. Well, with all of LeBron's accomplishments, Richard, how would you rank breaking the scoring record? For me, it's up there with anything LeBron James has done. This record, I don't think anyone's going to break it. Now here's Jones. Back to Williamson. Russell against Jones. Let's go with a three. Here's Valanciunas, and he got the whistle on the way up, so he'll be headed to the line for a pair. That's his first. More of a traditional center. Jonas Valanciunas can dominate the glass and capable of a double-double on any given night. Free throw drops for Valanciunas. Valanchunas drops them both. Some big guys struggle at the line. Not him. He's put in the work to defy that assumption. James against Ingram. And that one's good. James. And it's the level of creativity that separates LeBron. It's second to none because he's such an incredible ball handler also. And that streaking rack attack is the mobile one drive. Aggressive take there to get inside. They're looking to make things happen to try and take control of this game. Now here's Williamson. Back to McCollum. From nine feet out. Can't hit it. He's 0 for 2 now. How did he break that one? He smoked it. Everything was set up for that to be an easy basket. Russell the pass to Reddish. Back to Russell. Jacks up a three. Alan Tunis with a rebound. <laughs> and I'm surprised that didn't go down. I mean, I'm sure he is too. Here's Williamson. Rebound, the Lakers. That's going up against a defense that knows your tendencies. Reddish on the wing, defended by Jones. Jones against Reddish. The jump hook. Davis misses. The Pelicans trail. Things just don't seem to be clicking for them offensively. Yeah, they really need to find a way to get back on track. You often expect him to convert these types of shots, but the team must have made their presence felt to prevent that one. And this is exactly how Russell does solid assist numbers. I mean, just great delivery on that play. Now a timeout called by New Orleans. Failing to find a rhythm offensively. Something that needs to change and change soon. And Coach called his timeout to try and reset things on offense. Shake them up a bit so they can hopefully start getting some shots to fall. Now here's McCollum. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. Pass to Ingram. McCullum outside. Here's Williamson. Fires the three. Gets the three to fall. The dedication to being productive from Zion. I mean, his team expects big numbers from him, and he works hard to deliver. Here's Reddish. Vanderbilt with it. Covered by Williamson. Here's Russell. The shot off that time. Some solid defense from Ingram. 
The Pelicans have gone two for seven. A sluggish start. Williamson inside. Working on Vanderbilt. Outside for Ingram. There's the three. That one no good. And it's the Lakers the other way. Russell to pass to Davis. Now here's Reddish. The three is up. That one goes. Now he's one for two. I love Davis's ability to read the floor. He's improving his ability to create for others. Outside Jones. Pass to Valentunas. To the paint. Here's Williamson. Good D by Vanderbilt. The Lakers in the lead. If you look at the history of the Lakers, they've always had elite big men. That tradition goes all the way back to George Mikan in the 40s. Then they had Will Chamberlain, Kareem, and then obviously we know what Shaq was able to do there. Los Angeles has gone two for three from outside the arc. Here's Russell. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. That's, That's going to be on Brandon Ingram. Foul. And what has made D'Lo a max flair? He puts constant pressure on the defense. The Los Angeles Lakers, home to some of the greatest bigs of all time, Richard. Yeah, Will, Kareem, Shaq, Pau Gasol. The Lake Show winning titles with those large dudes, proving that size does matter in this league. And both free throws good for Russell. No surprise there. He's about as automatic as it gets from the stripe. I hope I didn't jinx him. McCullum, the pass to Valanchunas. Williamson, left side. And yep, it's good. Williamson's got five. So dangerous inside. Williamson has a great feel for how to capitalize from there. Outside Reddish. Pass to James. Inside. Here's Russell. It's good. He has seven. And they may have talked about shot selection coming into this. New Orleans has gone one for three from beyond the arc. New Orleans calls timeout. When you look at the career that LeBron has put together, one of the all-time greats, amazingly lived up to the hype he had coming out of high school. Who wants a t-shirt? Here's McCollum. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. To the inside. That's good. And it's Williamson with the assist. And the immense pressure LeBron has had since day one of the NBA. Many others would have folded for him. A very true B.A. The expectations he had were just insane. Anything less than a top five player all time would be a disappointment. That's not fair to ask of any player coming into the league, much less a high schooler. The offensive rebound. And the basket is good. He got it to go and he took the bump. So a free throw coming up. An opportunity in a three-point play. All right, guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for the Lakers. Second team foul. The free throw drops for Vanderbilt. Well, the Pelicans shooting 33% in the first quarter. Outside Ingram. Pass to Valentunas. And here's Jones. Just five on the clock. Davis with the defensive effort. There wasn't a lot of resistance there at that rim. He just, he just tripped off a little bunny. So far, they're owning both ends of the floor. We'll see if they can keep this going. They came out and bum-rushed them. Huge difference in activity level from both teams tonight. Now here's Jones. Here's Ingram. Back to Jones. Pass to Valanchunas. Shoots over Davis. Valanchunas can't get it to go. Normally he drains that. The Lakers have gone 8 for 14 from the floor. Great 
great start so far. Three of three in this one. They've shown so much energy right from the start, particularly on the offensive end. They came out swinging, really setting the tone on offense, and the opposition has not been able to respond. Now here's Ingram looking for his first basket still in this one. And again, New Orleans, no good. I'm trying to think of the last time I saw him miss a shot like that. It's, it's been a while. And usually that's a bucket for him. But look, nobody's perfect in the mid-range. Here's Williamson. He's got five. Pass to McCullum. Up and over Russell. McCullum's shot is off. Los Angeles has gone two for three from outside the arc. From deep. Valanchunas with a rebound. Valanchunas has got four rebounds now. Trying to find a spark here. Yes, indeed. A rough stretch offensively. They could really use a basket. Here's Williamson. Another miss. They desperately need a bucket. Well, the Lakers shooting 53%. Setting the tone right from the opening tip. And Davis with the basket. On the assist from James. James has got three assists now in this one. Outside Jones. Pass to Ingram. Can't hit that one. Davis with the defensive effort. So it's the Lakers now. It's a 14-point game. Oh, wasted no time on that one. Reddish has got six. He's consistent from out there, especially when you give him that kind of room. Ingram finds Valanchunas. Outside Jones. Back to Valanchunas. Jones, the pass to McCollum. They grab their own miss. Valanchunas, good. Yeah, he's a top-tier offensive rebounder. Valanchunas uses his size and strength to his advantage to do damage on the boards. Now, here is James. He has six. Here's Reddish. The shot's good on the assist by James. Nine points in the game. They've really built this lead on the back of their perimeter game. We'll see if they can keep this pace. Not sure they can win it by relying on just the three. Jones against Reddish. Left side Jones. Outside Ingram. Wide open. Sinks that one after missing his first two attempts. Now one for three. Well, that's why Ingram has been an all-star. He gives your team spacing, and he doesn't need the rock to score. They've controlled the paint so far. That's been the difference. It also allows them to play inside out, which will make them even more difficult to defend. Outside Ingram. 59 seconds left in the first quarter. From 12 feet. And another one falls for New Orleans. Good timing on the shot from Ingram. Understanding the situation and beating the defense just in time. Los Angeles has gone four of six from deep to start this game. James finds Vanderbilt. Here's Davis. And he drains it. A solid five for six now. Does anybody else think it's just too easy for AD sometimes? Just an easy board and put back. Outside Jones. Pass to Ingram. Over James. The shot by Ingram, no good. The Lakers shooting an incredible 61% to start this game. Reddish. Outside for Russell. Second chance shot. Vanderbilt, the pass to Davis. Tries again. And he sinks the layup. Davis has got 12. This is the defensive intensity you have to have against Davis inside. But he still powers through it. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers. It was pretty obvious. I mean, cashing in on extra opportunities. That's how they built this early lead. When you're the more aggressive club, good things tend to happen. We'll see if they can maintain this level of intensity. So for New Orleans right now, we've got Willie Hernan Gomez, and it's Murphy in a shooting guard. Let's a three fly. Valanchunas tipped back in for two. Six points for him. 
big time effort on the glass. And when you have a touch that soft, those tip ins are easier to make. Reddish passes to Davis. Here's Reeves. And he gets the bucket. You know, the point forward is an archetype that by now fans are familiar with. Grant, you were one of the OGs at the point forward. How's that position evolved in your mind? Well, it's evolved because so many players today have the skill set to be a point forward. Before me, there were guys like Paul Pressey and Scottie Pippen in the 80s and early 90s. But as I said, players today, the skill level is so elite. And with this positionless basketball that we're in, you must have a point forward or two on your team to be successful. Gets the three ball to go. Got to fight harder to get over those screens. Yeah, as soon as these guys feel contact, they are just disappearing like they're not even there. You got to show some fire and keep defending. Back to Reddish. Outside Davis, over Aaron on Gomez, and again, it's the Lakers. Look, I'm telling you, even in the mid-range, Davis is deadly. He's got the perfect mechanics, and it just works at any distance. Pass to Alvarado. Here's Murphy. Here's Alvarado. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. And there's the call on Rui Achimura. That's his first foul. And the Lakers with some changes. Christian Wood comes in for Davis. And Hayes is subbed in for Reddish. Nance, he's checked in for the Pelicans. Here's Alvarado. Here's Hernan Gomez. And he buries his first look. And once more this half, they find a way to get great position inside. Pass to Achimura. Quarter two and just under two and a half minutes gone by. That's tipped. Here's Marshall. Achimura covering. Always a nice way to start. Makes his first one. And that's how you lead a team. Literally. Los Angeles has gone four of six from three-point range thus far. Here's Murphy. Pass to Marshall. Here's Alvarado. And he lobs it up. And he lays in the alley-oop pass. Incredible! Save that one. I want to watch it again. Awesome! Hachimura outside. Now here's Wood. Here in the second quarter, just under three and a half minutes played. Pass to Alvarado. Here's Marshall. Here's Murphy. Five points in the game. Five on the clock. Nance for three. Hachimura with a rebound. Well, the Lakers shooting it well at 59%. Here's Reeves. Pass to Prince. Puts up a three. They get it back. For New Orleans, they've gotten five of seven shots to go in the second. Here's Marshall, guarded by Wood. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. The screener was leaning a bit right there. His feet may not have been planted. Pretty obvious call by the officials. Look, guys get away with this all the time, but on this occasion, he got caught. And a second look at that rejection, taking no prisoners on defense there. Oh, my, oh, my. And that was textbook defense. Positioning himself well and to send it back. The premier player in this league, Davis, with another huge night, showing why he is an NBA champion. Back to McCollum. Williamson against Tachimura. And Davis with the block. Here's Reeves. Pelicans cleared away. McCullum outside. Pass to Ingram. 17-foot shot on the way. And again, no good by New Orleans. 
The Lakers have gone three of five since the beginning of the second. Shot is good. I read. And it's just not letting up at all. I mean, you have to love this approach. You want to get the ball to the guys who make plays. This is when good players really get after it. He can sense that they're reeling, and he's going to put his foot on the pedal. And here's Williamson. Hachimura covering. Williamson passes to Ingram. Here's Murphy. Misses the layup. The Lakers have gone four for six here in the second. James, right side. Uncovered. Here's Davis. Tries again. And it's good on the lay-in. Davis has got six here in the corner. And Davis has added strength over his career. Really helps him inside. New Orleans calls timeout. Protecting the rim has to be their top objective right now. I'm sure Coach is going to give them an earful about that. He can't be happy with that soft interior game. Some changes now for the Lakers. Vanderbilt's checked in for Achimura. And Reddish is subbed in for Reeves. Jonas Valanciunas has checked in for New Orleans. Jones comes in for Murphy. Here's Ingram. And the Pelicans get it back. Oh, the dunk by Williamson. Oh, the motor of Williamson is special. Awesome at staying engaged and hitting the offensive glass. Russell finds Vanderbilt. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. That's his first. Well, that was clearly a foul. At the line for Los Angeles, Jared Vanderbilt. Two shots. Free throw drops for Vanderbilt. And Vanderbilt drops them both. Coach gets mad when Williamson gets hit and there's no whistle. And it happens a lot. Pass to Reddish. Williamson against Vanderbilt. Inside. And it's Russell. That time on the assist by Vanderbilt. Russell's got nine. And trust me, when the D's slow to react, he'll be the first guy to make them pay. Yeah, they're going to do a much better job of putting a little bit of pressure on him on his way to the hoop. Ingram finds Williamson. Rebounded by the Lakers. Reddish has got his fourth rebound in this one. And he's going for the lob. Davis can't hit. Looking for the spectacular and coming up empty. Just go to show how tight your timing needs to be on this kind of play. Jones, the pass to Williamson. He nails it. That's his fifth make in 11 tries. Within a game, Valanchun is just proving he has a reliable jump shot too. Back to Russell for three. Just his fourth make in 10 tries. He just makes it look so easy on offense. Like, who takes pleasure in torturing defenses? He does. Jones, the pass to McCollum. There's a minute 26 left in the first half of this game. Some solid defense from James. Jones against Russell. Pass to James. Back to Russell. The three. That falls. Nice feed that time from James. James has got six assists in the game. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. Jones up top. Back to McCollum. Here's Ingram. Oh, he's finally able to knock one down. Ingram's got six. We know CJ can score it, but the passing component of his game, I mean, McCollum's really upgraded it. Pass to Reddish. Back to Russell. Now here's Vanderbilt. To the paint. And it's Russell. That time on the assist by Vanderbilt. Russell's got ten points now, just in this quarter. Boy, the Pelicans have really had a tough go here. Here's Williamson. 
And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. Physically, there's just no way to match up with Zion, especially now that he can go to the right hand. the line for the Pelicans, Zion Williams. Two shots. And he can't get the first one. On the second one there's 18 seconds left in the second quarter outside Russell pass to Davis four seconds left nice D from Valanchunas and through the first half, a yeah, pretty lopsided. I think that that's the most important thing to him. Sure, putting up big numbers doesn't hurt, but he's all about getting the win over everything else. We've got LeBron James. Cam Reddish is out there with D'Angelo Russell. Then there's Jared Vanderbilt, and it's Davis in at the center position. That's who's in the game for the Lakers. And guys, this is why coaches value playing with pace. They've been able to attack the defense before they get set, really making the most of their fast break opportunities. Jones in the post. Reddish covering. Jones' his shot is good. Jones has gotten his second bucket. Some sick ball skills displayed right there. And he's not the guy you expect to pull that off. Outstanding dribble drive. And that replay was brought to you by Mobile One. They're taking the onus on himself to make something happen. Got it into the teeth of the defense and made them pay. Count it from distance. And what kind of defense was that? You can't give up wide open threes like that. You're going to do it. Pass to Ingram. Over James. The shot by Ingram, no good. Los Angeles has gone 7 of 13 from downtown so far in this game. Reddish misses. There's no way that's the best look this offense can produce. And you couldn't get a better shot off? Like, come on, you got to make the extra pass. Like, being a teammate will go so far in this league. The Lakers have got two of three from the floor in this third quarter. Just a little over 90 seconds gone in the third quarter. Here's Davis. And there's another one for the Lakers. And he couldn't get an easier shot. The defense right now just looks defeated. Yeah, you'd love to see a little bit more fire on defense. Shoot, any fire on defense. They can't just be giving the game away. McCullum against Russell. Just five to shoot. Reddish against Jones. Vanderbilt pulls it in. Vanderbilt's got seven rebounds in the game. Pass to Reddish. Not quite two and a half minutes played here in the second half. Davis hits. Yeah, it's easy to see why they go to him so often because they know they can depend on him to come through for them. Offensively, it's been a struggle for them. Yeah, they need to string together some shots to have any kind of chance. New Orleans calls timeout. You gotta like what Anthony Davis has done in this game. Well, he's been destroying them inside, and they need a timeout to figure out an answer or a prayer if there is one. Just over two and a half minutes gone by in the second half. Pass to McCullum, outside Jones. Six on the shot clock to stop the run. Driving inside. Doesn't go that time. Excellent D there from Davis. James, outside. Davis down low, working on Jones. The Pelicans have gotten just one of five shots to drop since halftime. Ingram. Good work defensively by James. 
showing great intensity around the rim is part of why he's a respected That's defender. Yeah, there. you can see why he's established that reputation. Strong sure. understanding of how to defend at the rim. Outside Jones. Back to McCollum. Valanciunas with it. Russell covering. And there's the foul. It's on D'Angelo Russell. That's foul number That's two for him. And now it's time foul. to take another view of that huge swat. Yeah, just some terrific effort there. And you know the whole team will get an energy boost off a block like that one. In the third quarter with just over three and a half minutes off the clock. Outside Jones, five to shoot. And it's blocked by Davis. Too much this, too much that, too much length from AD. Get that out of here. And he lobs it up top and stolen by Jones. And it's the Pelicans on the break. Here's McCollum. And the Pelicans miss again. It's obvious they're becoming frustrated. Nothing seems to be going their way. In a major drought, they need to find some sort of momentum. Nice ball movement there. That's how you break down the defense. Pass to Jones. And here's Valanciunas. Williamson with it. Shot to end the cold streak. That one falls. Nice feed that time from Ingram. Williamson's got 14 points. Living up to the immense hype, Zion is putting on a show, shouldering the load offensively. Now Russell fires from deep. Valanciunas with a rebound. Valanciunas has got rebound number eight now. McCullum on the wing. Good, trying to use the glass. Los Angeles has gone two of three from outside so far in the third quarter. Here's James. And his fifth basket. Now five for eight. Looking comfortable out there. And ladies and gentlemen, if you were wondering what it's like playing against LeBron, it is not fun. He's too big, he's too strong, and just gets the contact and the finish. Looking to get back on track. And Ingram gets it to go on the assist from Jones. Give him eight points now. A quality pass, setting up a quality shot. It's just textbook basketball. Reddish on the wing, defended by Jones. And the foul called on Cam Reddish. That's his first foul of the game. And this kind of selflessness is great to see. Textbook positioning to draw the charge. Well, the Pelicans shooting a less than average 27% in the third quarter. Pass to Ingram. That's in. Coming off an assist from McCollum. McCollum's got three assists in the game. It's hard trying to match up with Ingram, especially when he's looking to score inside. Time called here. The Lakers decide to talk it over. It's simple. Two hoops. Reeves is checked in for Reddit. Murphy, he's checked in for the Pelicans. Pass to Reeves. Back to James from behind the arc. The Lakers with another miss. Well, New Orleans shooting only 36% so far in this game. Ingram against Russell. Again, the miss by Ingram. The Lakers have gotten seven of their first 11 attempts to go in this half. James with the ball from 12 feet. He's got it. Six of ten now. I like this wrinkle. Put LeBron off the ball and then make a play for him. James has gone 6 of 10 shooting tonight from the field. McCullum, the pass to Ingram. Back to McCullum. Here's Murphy. Five points in the game. McCullum with it. And the foul on Anthony Davis. That's his third foul so far. His third personal foul. Second team foul. Here's Williamson. Davis with a rebound. The Lakers have gone 8 of 12 from the floor in the third quarter. Here's James. That 
one falls. Coming off Davis' feed. James has got eight points here in the quarter. Nice ball movement there. Delivered the pass right on time. Pass to Ingram. It's stolen. Here's Reeves. Here's Russell. Let's it go from deep. The Pelicans pull it in. Williamson's got eight rebounds in the game. Pulls up. Murphy's shot is off. I don't know if he got in his own head there or what, because the defense can't really take credit for that miss. Here's Russell. And he drains it, making him seven for 15 for the day. The aggressive move by Russell. He's got the deep bag of tricks. So tough to stop. Here's Murphy. He's got five. Ingram, the pass to Valanchunas. Ingram against James. Shot clock at five. Fires, top of the key. The putback. It's good on the putback. And he's now got the double-double. Just great positioning to get the rebound, then get it back up. Outside Russell. Back to James. Pass to Reeves. Parked it down low that time. Got hit with the three-second call. Hayes has checked in for Los Angeles. Prince comes in for LeBron. And a change for the Pelicans. Hernan Gomez has checked in. McCullum outside. Outside Ingram. Back to McCullum. Clock at six. Over Russell. And too long on the shot. Los Angeles has gone two for five from three since halftime. Pass to Prince. Here's Reeves. Now here's Hayes. What? No scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Here's Prince. And no good. Oh, good work defensively by Ingram. McCollum finds Ingram. Here's Hernan Gomez. That's Ooh, in. Coming Hernan off an assist Gomez. from McCollum. Hernan yes, Gomez has got his second basket. DJ Just a great combo guard. McCollum is capable of being a go-to scorer as well as a terrific distributor. Here's Russell. Hey, shot's good. Hayes has got his first bucket in this one. Rate of Jackson baskets Hayes. assisted, it's a stat I really like. It tells the story of how well you are playing team offense. Back to McCollum. Pass to Williamson. To the left side wing. McCollum outside. This one for three. Drops in the three. McCollum's got five now. <laughs> With confidence and ability from long range, I love it. McCollum's able to space the floor and keep the defense honest. Here's Reeves. Fires for three. That shot is off. And for the Pelicans, they're shooting right at 35%. Not getting what they want out there. Murphy's Murphy. shot is good. Reed An one. excellent job of reading the defense. As Ingram's court vision continues to improve, so will his playmaking. Pass to Prince. Fifty seconds left in the third. Tipped away. It's stolen by Ingram. Here's Murphy. Give him eight. Now Ingram, guarded by Russell. Hayes against Williamson. Over Hayes. Second chance effort. And no problem for Hernan Gomez as he finishes at the rim. Hernan Gomez has gotten four this quarter. One second separating the shot clock and the game clock. Here's Reeves. Outside for Russell. Here's Prince. And again, another missed shot. 
and so it's the loss. The Lakers shooting has been excellent so far, around 56%. So for the Pelicans right now. Larry Nance is out there with Willie Hernan Gomez. And it's Marshall in at the three. Wood passes to Achimura. And it's slammed in by Achimura. Look at Wood finding ways to contribute. Sees an open man and drops a dime. Pass to Marshall. Here's Murphy. Nance with it. Achimura covering. Here's Marshall. Six on the shot clock. Some solid D from Wood. Here's Prince. Down low. Hachimura. And count that. Two points and a chance for one more at the line. These are exactly the kind of shots they want to generate each and every time down the floor. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for the Lakers. At the line for Los Angeles, Rui Hachimura. Shooting Free throw, ball. no good for Achimura. New Orleans has gone four of nine so far from the perimeter. Pass to Alvarado. About one minute played here in the fourth quarter. Now here's Nance. He can't get that one to fall. Here's Prince. Now Russell. Wood outside. Pass to Reeves. And just wasn't able to set up in time. That's his first personal foul. Second team foul. Here's Reeves. Out to Achimura. Just five on the clock. He shoots it. This is the jumper. New Orleans is shooting just 37% in the game. Here's Murphy. Barry's the easy one. Three, Murphy. For Los Angeles, they've gone two of three to open the fourth quarter. Pass to Reeves. Here's Prince. Outside Russell. Here's Prince from the arc. Murphy pulls it in. To the inside. The jump hook. Here's Hernan Gomez. And terrific work on the offensive glass as he picks up the deuce. He's got a knack for those putbacks, so you have to be aware of that defensively. Get a body on him. Pass to Prince. Here's Reeves. And again, no good by the Lakers. Here's Murphy. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Good man. But the defender really went after him. First team foul. At the line for the Pelicans. Trey Murphy at the line for two. The first one falls. And so he hits both. Los Angeles has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. Pass to Reeves. Here's Prince. The Lakers with another miss. Oh, man, he can't get anything to fall. You can feel his frustration. Yeah, that's it right now. He's just in his own head. Not much you can do to try and push through it. Yep, that one's good. Hachimura's got six points in the quarter. Just outstanding distribution. This is the kind of team chemistry that you love to see. And we just had to take one more look at that great drive. And this is exactly what you love to see. A big, not letting up, keep on applying pressure to their defense. That's his first personal foul. Second team foul. At the line for the Pelicans. And the first one at the line is good. Some changes now for the Lakers. Davis, he's checked in for Christian Wood. James comes in for Prince. And Reddish is subbed in for Russell. Zion Williamson is checked in for New Orleans. Ingram comes in for Marshall. Here's Reeves. A look at the clock. A little under three and a half minutes gone by in the fourth. 
to the paint. Got a piece of it. Here's Murphy. And that one falls. His fifth basket in seven tries. Well, they're on the right path now, but still in a pretty big hole. But this is a game again, and the other side has to be feeling a little bit nervous with how quickly that lead vaporized. Goes up on the wing. Good. Eight buckets in 12 attempts. If you're the defender, what do you do there? How do you really play LeBron in the pick and roll? Pass to Alvarado. Now Ingram. Here's Williamson. Hachimura covering. Hernan Gomez with it. Six to shoot. He can't get it to go. Excellent D there from Davis. And he drops it in from the low post. Davis has got 24. And it only makes sense to give him the rock again. He put the team on his back all game. Yeah, just keep feeding him. That guy is a man on a mission. And the defense, well, they don't have much of an answer. Hernan Gomez on the wing. Soft touch off the glass. Hernan Gomez has gotten four this quarter. Hard work pays off with a rebound and a bucket. That's just great fundamental. Here's Reeves. Hachimura outside. The shot that time, not on target. And it's the Pelicans taking it the other way. Here's Alvarado. The shot comes out. The Lakers have got five out of ten shots to drop here in the final quarter. Out of bounds, it'll go to the Pelicans. Vanderbilt checked in for Los Angeles. And the Pelicans also making a change. Jones, he's checked in for Ingram. Here's Alvarado. Inside. Here's Jones. And he takes the feed in stride and slams it home. Now that's how you use the screen right there. And it leads to a thunderous finish. That was nice. Yeah, you like the pick to set up the open shot. But when it leads to a dunk, okay, even better. We'll take it. Davis finds Reddish. James, outside. Down to five on the shot clock. Double team on James. And a bit of a battle for the ball. And the officials signal a jump ball here. Jump ball. And the Lakers with possession here. Vanderbilt, no good. New Orleans has gone four of nine so far from the perimeter. Here's Murphy. Goes back up. And he lays it in. And man, is he putting in that work. He's been getting good looks and shooting the ball efficiently all night. And you know, this home arena really appreciates this guy. And it's clear that he takes pride in playing his best in front of them. That falls. Nice feed that time from James. LeBron James. James has got his seventh assist of the game with that last one. Pass to Jones. And here's Valanciunas. Checked by Davis. Here's Ingram. Here's Valanciunas. And it's blocked by Davis. Yes, it's good. Boy, this offense has been dynamic and diversified. Just everyone sharing the ball and sharing the load makes you difficult to defend. James can't get it to go. New Orleans has gone four of nine so far from the perimeter. McCullum passed to Williamson. And the layup is good after a nice lead pass. Nice offense here. Close in. Great bet to go. Outside Reddish. Here's Reeves. McCollum defends. Pass to Davis. And finished off by Davis. And let's not forget about his athleticism. Dominant above the rim. Davis knows how to use his size to his advantage. Outside Jones. Williamson against Vanderbilt. Here's McCollum. And it's New Orleans with another. 
Yeah, somehow, some way, McCollum always seems to carve out just enough space for his shot. Outside Reddish. Pass to James. Outside Vanderbilt. Now James. Clock at six. Nice move over Ingram. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. That's his second person. So much is made about. He hits the second from the line. Here's McCullum. Pass to Jones. Outside Ingram. McCullum way outside. Rebound the Lakers. James has got rebound number seven tonight. Here's Reeves. James outside. Now here's Vanderbilt. Covered by Williamson. Four on the clock. Here's Reddish. Valanchunas with a rebound. Valanchunas has got a rebound number 12 here already in the game. Nice D from Reddish. And for the Lakers, they're shooting right below 40% here in the fourth. And the distance between the point totals for these teams tells the whole story. Just a fantastic effort, and you have to give it up for the Lakers. They ran the fast break beautifully all night long. It was a huge part of their success. It's so true. They clearly ran the floor well, constantly putting pressure on the defense. Just a tremendous effort. And what a huge performance it was for Anthony Davis. And he was getting buckets all night long, giving the defense that look. The officials were right on top of that one. At the line, Anthony Davis. First free throw is good. There's no question Davis is a top 10 talent in this league when healthy. But unfortunately, he's dealt with several injuries throughout the year. And that's good as he hits both shots. The Pelicans shooting just under 40% from the field. Pass to Ingram. And here's Valanciunas. McCullum outside. Back to Valanchunas. And it's all from three-point range. And here are the Lakers. They lead by 17. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Here's Davis. And it's off the back of the rim. No good. Up top, McCullum. Checked by James. To end the drought. Tipped. we see the Lakers taking the W here, showing that they're the far superior team. They win it going away. I'll tell you what, give it up for their fans. They love to watch this team dominate. You best believe they're all going home happy tonight. All right, now let's check in with Allie LaForce. Allie, what do you have? All right, thanks, guys. D'Angelo, some great basketball tonight. Talk about the winning habits this team is forming. Keeping it simple on the offensive end, limiting our errors on the defensive end. I think that piles up. We stay solid throughout the whole game. It's just simple, man. I think the, the simple we keep it, the better we are as a team. Keep it simple. What a great reminder. Thanks, D'Angelo. All right, Allie, thank you. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. This is Brian Anderson saying thank you for tuning in. We'll see you next time.